Hi there, it's Miss Allie from the Franklin Springboro Public Library, and I've given myself a challenge today for today's book talks. I'm going to review five books in five minutes. And trust me, you're going to want to check out all five of these books because they are that good. Of course, all of these books are available from the Franklin Springboro Public Library for checkout. They also are available from the Ohio Digital Library. Simply visit the library website, fspl.org, click on Digital Library, and then click on Ohio Digital Library in order to check them out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Book number one is See You in the Cosmos by Jack Chang, recommended for readers in grades four through six. You will want to read this book just to experience the main character slash narrator, Alex Petrosky's view of the world and view of outer space. Alex takes a road trip with his dog, Carl Sagan, to Scharf, which is the Southwest High Altitude Rocket Festival. Alex, who is suspiciously unsupervised during this cross-country trip, runs into roadblocks along the way, but he meets a lot of strangers who become friends who lend him a helping hand. This book does touch on issues of mental illness, and it is a sure bet for kids who love realistic fiction. Hey, that was pretty good. That didn't take too long. Oh, wait, I'm wasting time. Speaking of outer space, the next book I want to recommend is Alien Superstar by Henry Winkler, a never mind, and Lynn Oliver. This is recommended for kids in grades four and up. Buddy C. Berger is an alien who had to escape his home planet, and he finds safety here on Earth in one of the best places on Earth, California's Universal Studios. Here, Buddy, all the time trying to keep his alien identity a secret, finds friends and even lands a new job on a popular TV sitcom. This book has lots of laughs as misunderstandings abound as Buddy tries to navigate his new life here on Earth. This book is excellent for anyone who has ever felt like an outsider. Isn't that all of us? It's Moving right along. Book number three is Front Desk by Kelly Yang. This book is recommended for kids in grades four through six, and it also takes place in California. This book is about Chinese immigrant Mia Tang and her parents. They work very hard managing a hotel. The job is difficult and the owner of the hotel takes advantage of them, but they are a determined and compassionate family. Mia is the main character and the narrator of this story. She is in charge of the front desk at the hotel and she works hard to make it her own and she dreams of one day becoming a writer. This book deals with some heavy topics like poverty, bullying, and racism, but there is a light and hopeful tone as Mia first um, faces injustices and then does her part to work toward solutions. Did I mention that this book takes place in the 1990s? Well, that's the setting, but Mia's voice and her story and her desire to stand up for her community will ring true with today's readers. How am I doing on time? Oh, wait, I don't have a watch. <laughs> Book number four is Notorious by Gordon Corman, recommended for readers in grades three and up. Do you love a good mystery that includes high stakes, mysterious islands, historical intrigue, and dogs? Well, this is the book for you. One of the main characters, Keenan, moves to Center Light Island, which is half in the United States and half in Canada. There he meets the other main character, Zebe, and the two become friends while investigating the possible murder of Zebe's dog, Barney. Most of the chapters of this book alternate between the two narrators, Keenan and Zebe, with a few other voices sprinkled in. Is someone killing animals on the island? Did Prohibition era gangsters hide a treasure on the island? Will Zebe ever love and appreciate her new dog, Barney Number Two, as much as she loved Barney Number One? The fast paced, action packed mystery of this book will make it a winner with most readers. Wow, I can't believe I'm on book number five already. <laughs> Can I take a break? No? 
Onward. Book number five is Look Both Ways by Jason Reynolds. If I listed all the awards and uh, recognition this book has received, I'd use up the whole five minutes I've given myself. This book comes highly recommended by anyone who knows anything about books for kids. Look Both Ways, A Tale Told in 10 Blocks is recommended for readers in grades four and up. Rather than a straightforward novel, this book is 10 short stories that all take place one afternoon after school, each story following a different middle schooler um, kid home. I'm going to entice you to read this masterpiece full of unique characters by reading you the first few lines. This story was going to begin like all the best stories, with a school bus falling from the sky. But no one saw it happen. No one heard anything. So instead, this story will begin, like all the good ones, with boogers. That's it. I did it. Five books in five minutes. I hope that you will check out one or two or five of them. Happy reading.